Moving on to the next slide, which is the virtues of fasting in Ramadan. My brothers and sisters, it is always helpful and beneficial for us to keep ourselves highly motivated through understanding the true virtues and merits of a particular ibadah, of a particular worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that we can bring things into action. Fasting is a means of achieving the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the expiation of our sins. So these are two different things. Allah has made fasting Ramadan and spending its night in prayer out of faith and in the hope of reward a means of forgiveness of our sins as the Prophet said Man sama Ramadana imana wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbih The Prophet said that whoever observes fast out of sincere faith and hoping a reward from Allah, all of his past sins will be forgiven. So fasting Ramadan is a means of forgiveness, but at the same time, it is also a means of expiation of our sins from the previous Ramadan. As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, As-salawatu al-khams wal-jum'atu ila al-jum'a وَرَمَضَانُ إِلَىٰ رَمَضَانُ مُكَفِّرَاتٌ لِمَا بَيْنَهُنَّ إِذَا جْتُنِبَتِ الْكَبَائِرِ The Prophet وسلم, said that the five daily prayers and Friday prayer to the next Friday prayer and Ramadan to the, and the fasting of Ramadan to the next Ramadan there is an expiation of sins committed between them with one condition, so long as major sins are avoided. So if a believer keeps himself away from major sins, then by Allah, Allah will expiate his sins between one Ramadan to the other Ramadan. Such a great blessing. And so, like I said, there is forgiveness and there is expiation of sins. What is the difference? Forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when a person commits a sin, it is recorded and Allah forgives it. By His mercy, Allah forgives that sin. It is different for expiation of a sin because when a person commits a sin and that is recorded and Allah forgives that sin, it does not stop there. Allah then removes it from the record. Allah completely expiates that sin by removing it from the record and that is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan. With hope there also comes my brothers and sisters a warning for those who are careless. There is hope for the one who tries, there is hope for the one who strives and is trying to be their best during the month of Ramadan fasting like they've never fasted before. And then there are those who are careless, who are heedless, and who continue to be corrupt in their actions during the month of Ramadan. For them, there is a warning. The Prophet ﷺ once was ascending to the pulpit and he said, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. He said this thrice. The companions, they asked about it to the Prophet ﷺ and said, Why have you said Ameen, Ameen, Ameen? To one of the Ameens that the Prophet ﷺ has said, that verily Jibreel السلام, came to me and he said, Whoever reaches Ramadan and is not forgiven, is not forgiven, he will enter hellfire and Allah will cast him far away. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us Jannah and to keep us far, far away from the hellfire. Ameen. Reward without measure. Fasting the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward the fasting person out of his own self, meaning there is no fixed measure for it. The Prophet وسلم, said, كل عمل ابن آدم له إلا الصيام فإنه لي وأنا أجزي به. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Allah the Exalted and Majestic said, every act of the son of Adam is for him. 
except al-siyam, except for fasting, which is exclusively for me, and I will reward him for it. The measure, like I said, is not defined. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in another hadith, every deed of the son of Adam will be rewarded between 10 and 700 folds. So if we do one good action, Allah will reward us from 10 to up to 700 fold. Allah can reward in this measure. However, Allah said, specifically for fasting Allah said except for fasting verily it is for me and I will reward for it this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarding the fasting person beyond any measure and this is certainly as the scholars have said this is certainly more than 700 folds. A special entrance to paradise. The Prophet وسلم, he mentioned about a specific, a magnificent gate that is dedicated for the people who used to fast. And Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, Inna fil jannati baban yuqalu lahu rayyan. يَدُخُلُ مِنْهُ الصَّائِمُونَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ لَا يَدُخُلُ مِنْهُ أَحَدٌ غَيْرُهُمْ يُقَالُ أَيْنَ الصَّائِمُونَ فَيَقُومُونَ لَا يَدُخُلُ مِنْهُ أَحَدٌ غَيْرُهُمْ فَإِذَا دَخَلُوا أُغْلِقُ فَلَمْ يَدُخُلْ مِنْهُ أَحَدٍ The Prophet وسلم, said, there is a gate in paradise called Ar-Rayyan and those who observe fasts will enter through it on the day of resurrection. And none except them will enter through it. It will be said, where are those who used to observe fasts? They will get up and none except them will enter through it. After their entry, the gate will be closed and nobody will enter through it. Imagine the amount of pleasure that a believer will receive on that day when he will be called amidst thousands and millions of people and they will stand up, those who used to fast, and they will be made to enter into this magnificent gate of Ar-Rayyan. That is the gate in paradise which is only meant for those who used to fast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask him to grant us this status and to make us of those who enter into Jannah through this gate and which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said thrice, no one will enter through it. No one will enter through it except those who used to fast. Means of achieving the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has for the fasting person. As we discuss through this topic, we understand how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to forgive the sins of a fasting person. Allah is ready to expiate his sins so that they no longer remain in his record. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will himself reward him out of his own measure for the fasting person. Allah has built a gate in paradise through which none will enter except those who used to fast. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has special love for the fasting person. Indeed, my brothers and sisters, it is upon us to seek the love of Allah and to achieve the love and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ لَخُلُوفُ فَمِ الصَّائِمْ أَطْيَبُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ رِيحِ الْمِسْكِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, by him in whose hands my soul is, the smell coming out from a fasting person is better in the sight of Allah than the smell of misk. He further said that he has, that Allah says about the fasting person, he has left his food, drink and desires for my sake. The fast is for me, so I will reward for it and the reward of good deeds is multiplied 10 times. My brothers and sisters, 
Once the Prophet وسلم, addressing the companions told them that none will enter into Jannah except by the mercy of Allah, meaning that none will be able to enter into paradise by his own good deeds. So do not be confident of the good deeds that you've done except by the mercy of Allah. And the companions, out of con uh, curiosity, they asked the Prophet وسلم, not even you, O Rasulullah. The Prophet وسلم, he responded back and said, not even me. Even I will not be able to enter into paradise except until Allah has mercy upon me. So my brothers and sisters, we ask Allah to grant us Ramadan and fasting in this month and accept from us the fasting so that we may achieve the love and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through it. Finally, fasting will intercede on the day of judgment. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as is narrated in an authentic hadith, قَالَ الصِّيَامُ وَالْقُرْآنُ يَشْفَعَانِ لِلْعَبْدِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يقول الصيام أي ربي منعته الطعام والشهوات بالنهار فشفعني فيه ويقول القرآن منعته النوم بالليل فشفعني فيه قال فيشفعان The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the fast and the Quran are two intercessors for the servant of Allah on the day of resurrection. The fast will say, O oh Lord, I prevented him from his food and desires during the day, so grant me permission to intercede for him. The Quran will say, I prevented him from sleeping at night, let me intercede for him, and their intercession will be accepted. May Allah make our fasting of Ramadan and the reading and the reciting of the Quran a means of intercession on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with Ramadan, help us to gain his true consciousness. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those that he loves and he bestows his mercy upon us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us those who enter into Jannah from the gates of Ar Rayyan. And we ask Allah to grant us the companionship of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the protection of all of us during these difficult times of the pandemic of COVID-19. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the ummah, to protect the humanity at large. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all of our good deeds. Wa jazakum Allahu khayran. Until the next time we meet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.